All right, everyone. So I just wanted to do a quick rundown of the new bingo event in game to make sure that you guys get all the rewards by wasting the fewest amount of extra resources than you have to because it's a little bit tricky. So let's actually head over to the bingo event, which is going to be on the left side of the screen here going to 100 day, clicking on this, and then going to the bingo board. Now, the way that the bingo event works is you have a bingo board here with 25 numbers, right? And then you've got the horizontal rows and you've got the vertical rows. Now, just like a regular game of bingo, when you clear a horizontal row, you're going to get the horizontal reward, which would be the howlix ears. And if you clear a vertical reward, you're going to get the vertical reward, which would be the demon's blood. Now, when you complete the entire bingo board, you're going to get the all bingo reward which would be the SSR pendant. So obviously you want to go for all the rewards here, which would give you all the horizontal rewards, all the vertical rewards, and also the SSR pendant all bingo reward before you reset. And you can reset a total of six times for seven bingo boards in total. Now this is really important because what that means is before the event is over, you're going to need to get seven copies of each of the bingo numbers here. Now, the way that you actually get numbers for the bingo board is there's two different ways. And this is the primary method that you want to use because it's going to be the way that you get these resources for free in-game just by playing through quests. And that is draw numbers. Now, you can end up getting a total of 30 of these tokens, the one that has Elizabeth in the background here with the 100-day celebration. You can get 30 of those each day. And you can actually check your counter by going to events and going right here to where it says 100 day bingo drops daily acquisition count and you can see i've gotten 21 out of 30. so what that's going to do is when you actually draw numbers from this it's going to give you numbers completely at random so you might draw a uh, 10 and get duplicates of certain numbers not enough of the numbers that you need it's going to be completely random and what's going to happen is when you draw numbers this way any numbers that you need on your current bingo board are automatically going to get placed there. So let's just draw the one that I have right here. See what I actually get. I got number two. I don't know if I needed number two here. Did it place it on the board? Doesn't look like it actually placed it on the board because I currently did not need number two. So what happens? Does it go to waste? No, it does not end up going to waste. What happens is it goes over here to this screen. And this actually shows you any extra numbers that you have. Um, that you don't need for the current bingo board that you actually have. This is really important. Keep in mind that you're going to need a total of seven of all the numbers in order to fully complete all of the bingo boards. And the draw numbers is going to be random. So you might get a bunch of duplicates of some numbers. You might not get enough of others. But what you want to do is see all the numbers that you end up getting for free uh, you know, before the event actually ends. And I believe it runs for two weeks. So if you can get 30 Elizabeth tokens each day, uh, quick math here, what is that? 420, you know, around 400 of these for free. And you want to make sure to have gotten seven of each number. Now there is a chance if you get really unlucky, you have not actually gotten seven of each number. It's going to happen to some people. They're going to have way too many of some numbers, not enough of others. And in that case, um, you know, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to use these tokens anymore, the ones for free, in order to complete the bingo boards. If you are one of the unlucky chosen ones, now what you'd have to do is you would use these tickets right here. And those are the bingo number selection tickets. But you don't want to use these until the end and you know exactly what numbers you are lacking on the bingo board. And uh, these tickets you can end up acquiring through the coin shop. So what you do is you just go over here to the coin shop, go over, and I believe they are in gold. And you actually end up getting two of them for every gold coin. Now, very importantly, though, you don't want to buy these until the end and you know which numbers you are lacking. Obviously, don't buy them at the beginning because if you do, um, you know, you might get a bunch of extra duplicates of the numbers you just bought and it's just going to go to waste. You're spending gold coins that you don't have to. So these ones you get for gold coins. Um, and with silver coins, you can end up getting these ones here. But again, I wouldn't really buy these because, you know, you're going to get 400 of them for free. And by the end of the event, uh, you know, if there's very specific numbers that you still need, why buy these ones when they're just going to keep giving you random numbers? It's only going to be a 1 in 25 chance of getting the actual numbers that you need at that point. So at the very end, you would just want to go and buy these ones if you want to complete the last couple of bingo spots, bingo boards, whatever you need the last few um, you know, numbers for. So 
Um, wanted to lay this out in that order so that hopefully you guys don't end up wasting resources, buying the wrong kind of coins or tickets, spending silver and gold coins that you don't have to, or doing any kind of nonsense that is just not very necessary for this event. You can love it, you can hate it. Um, I, I did notice there's a decent amount of RNG involved, and hopefully all of you guys watching will get rewarded and not have to worry about being unlucky and get seven copies of each number that you need to complete all of the bingo boards. So I wish you all good luck. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped out. And if it did and you want more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing to the channel. Feel free to leave a quick like as well. It means more than you can imagine. So thank you so much to all of you who decide to do that. And more 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross Global videos should be popping up on the screen right about now. Feel free to check them out. But if not, until next time, take care, everyone. And this is Salt of the Salty Guild, signing out.